Hmm. Rose here. Malia. Calm waters. <sighs> Sitting in some water, which oh, I'm so grateful for where I run into bathtubs. <laughs> some people in houses don't even have bathtubs. I mean, I couldn't imagine <laughs> building a house, having the money for a bathtub. Or the option of a bathtub, but not putting in a bathtub. Um, and I don't know how many I've cleaned to be able to be in them. Um, water is life. That's what kind of first brought me to way. Water is life. We come out of water in the womb. If we don't drink water, we die. Water not in the air will dry us up and make us prunes. Water holds memory too. And so water for me is a good place to go to get in a bit deeper. Go back to that womb. To feel the memories and cry with the ones that wish to be cried with. All of this water has gone through pipes and been treated and manipulated because our world hasn't valued water very well for quite a long time. So the first thing I do is bless the water. I love you, water. Thank you, water. I love you, water. Sing one water songs. I have my own Algonquin have asked us to sing their water song. Just um, to connect. It doesn't take me too much to be able to drop in really and connect with the waters inside and out. May the waters inside and out be healed, rejuvenated, revitalized, replenished, refreshed, restored, renewed, respected. <sighs> the fact that everybody doesn't have clean, free water is at the core a sign that What's so important, <laughs> the very essence, beginning, and sometimes end of life is water. And it's not valued. And it's bought and sold. <laughs> in, in little bitty bottles that it takes more water to make than it does for the container that it's held in. And there's so many People making money off of purifying water, which a core thing for me is if it's not available to the least among us, it's definitely like not the way, right? It's only available for the privileged, profitable. And that's at the core of a lot of the things that are going on for me personally. Um, I know a, a few men, especially with lots of money. Lots of it. So much of it, they throw it around willy-nilly. Um, one is not in debt. And one, his whole thing is based on debt. And usury, right? Usury. And if you, I say one of the core things, and I sense that is usury. And one may not be in debt, but he's still using people and using his money for his own, and only where he knows. Um, I hold left hand and right hand, not knowing what you're doing. I did that for a while, and boy, have I gotten so many lessons around money. 
And the money really doesn't. I definitely won't buy love, even people making love with nature, spelling it out and putting it on their pages, all of that. I tried that. It doesn't buy you friends because I spent a lot of money during that time when I was able to play with it and give it away. Um, it doesn't uh, buy you friends because none of those people are still my friend. And um, so, and I'm, you know, I have funds. I lived in luxury in the Azores for a bit. <sighs> luxury without your friends isn't much fun. So I invited a lot of who I thought were friends there. Turned out not to be. So luxury won't buy you friends either. I think maybe that's why so many of them that have luxury are living isolated lives. They put their faith and trust in money. And, you know, even in that book of the lineage that I come from, it says, do not charge interest to those in need, give freely. You cannot serve two masters. Um, I serve love and people. And most of the people I've been in service to don't have money to pay me. And I still am in service to them. I, you know, at this point, I'm choosing to be grateful I didn't have money because I haven't been able to attend all those fancy festivals and all of that where hooks are put into people and they're distracted by material possessions and their ideas of manifesting the first their perfect man, right? The one that has money <laughs> to give them or to manifest their own ability to make money, which you can't make money. I guess you could maybe spell it out the way I did with love, but it still wouldn't make money. Right? And earning money, like who decides what worth is greater than another? I've known for a long time like, like in my personal case I spent two years caring for my daughter's twins my grandchildren in a house solid being with them while she went off to make money in her fortune which she doesn't have either um, in the end and uh, still spending on, on things and valuing expensive purses and jewelry more than someone caring for her twins her mom being there showing up I wasn't paid I'm still owed money technically um, from that time which you know, what I'd rather is some pictures of my grandkids and getting to talk to them because I don't value money as the highest priority it would help, it would assist, and I'm nearly down to the end of mine, and somebody that's got my things currently is saying, oh, we don't know why she can't just pay for it, because oh, I spent all my money on an experience with you that we were supposed to continue together until you got violent with me and decided you were off on your own with your family, which isn't available to me, <laughs> which in some ways, is a blessing, right? It's a painful one, but it's a blessing that I get to just be focused on alignment with her, with spirit, and redeeming, for lack of a better word, my own previous actions through service. Getting to, I mean, without that lack of funds, I wouldn't be able to see the miracles of how spirit can work. And when I say spirit, I mean the rose, the divine mother, Eo, both together, but you know, I still have, I admit it, issues with the male one. And if I'm to be the balance, then she sure needs my attention more than he. And uh, she includes he. <sighs> I 
mostly a type of the spirit of love, generosity, compassion, grace, and vitality, life, spirit of life, rather than that death program that's running, keeping an uh, invented character, a uh, face up on a cross. And so many have different faces to that, and it's quite the imposter spirit that comes in and gives it a face um, other than your own spouse, because Jesus, us, is where I stick today. So I'm going to be here in the waters, spending time, <laughs> which that's an illusion too, like whose time are you playing on? Hers? Or that thing? that believes there could be a huge Armageddon. Like they can do that, but life, life in some form, in some form or fashion, goes on and has for billions of years. Why would we think we're so powerful to stop that? <sighs> Delusions of grandeur which feed into some savior mentality, which thankfully, gratefully, I've left. Even in, I'm getting to the point of saving myself again. I went to grasping, I hadn't had money in a while, I'm running out, oh my gosh. When the truth is, I'm prosperous today. I have a bit of my bank more than most can say, or many can say. Many don't even have a bank account. And if I'm to be honest, I, know, I may have been happier, less stressful without. Um, experience. Here I am in this very fancy home. Very, very fancy. Somebody's bathtub that I've been in so many houses and they don't even use the bathtub to stop long enough. You gotta shower off and get going, right? To go doing. Which somehow they think will save themselves. I thought so too. I worked really hard. Ten jobs one year I had. I wasn't there for my children. That's the part that I have regret about. But I didn't know how. I didn't have the tools and when you're you know, taking care of kids, as I've talked about in my renunciate video long ago, right? like the ones that have kids, yes, participating, the elders that can't, being supported, but those that could, but they've got the health, they've got the youth, they've got the ability to be in service to the others instead of seeking their own money. That's a good use of your abilities, such as what I've done. <laughs> Wishing and hoping, but not expecting that perhaps someone will do it for me too. When I'm no longer able and capable, and spirit doesn't run through my body to give me the ability. I do feel some strength and vitality returning on some possibilities that it might again give me another whoosh. I also have the sense that I may leave my body. I'm getting okay with that too, working to close out whatever it is that I feel or do my part to, um, to close out whatever feels unfinished and asking for divine grace to lead me to a place where the body will be allowed to rest and leave peacefully. I wish hope surrounded by some that love it. And a way to leave it where it won't be acted upon in ways that do not fulfill my wishes. And in a good way, and left in a place it's honored the journey that I've been on to get even this far and with this much love still in my heart. <sighs> still
still staying open and vulnerable. Perhaps my story being an inspiration. Simple, simple, keep it simple solutions. Spending time with the mama, the things around me to contemplate, ponder, feel into, co create love with what's around me. And being kind and generous. Why am I in some money trouble right now? Money trouble. Why is money causing me trouble right now? Because I gave a fuck ton of it away. Just. It's that book. So many other sacred paths say I do. Will it come back? It has before. In bits and pieces and to different degrees. That's why I had it for the last year. Sometimes it comes to show me, back to show me that I need the most important thing. Because all the money in the world was out water. <laughs> Dry. <laughs> You'd be coughing in the desert and dying with a million bucks. Okay? Water. Love you, water. Thank you, water. I sing for the waters and I sing trees, sing for the birds and I sing for the bees, oh mother mystery, to me to your frequency, oh mother mystery, show me where you need me to be, I sing for the rivers and I sing for the streams, sing for the lakes and I sing for the seas. Sing for the bathtubs and I sing for the breeze. Sing for the rains and I sing for the springs. That one just came. Oh, mother mystery, to me through your frequency. Oh, mother mystery, take me where I need to be. that shows up in skin when they can't feel, can't even see because of the hurt. Mm. Lead them to a tree, to waters, to art, to singing, to holy, not to hold on to them and carry them and be the end all be all of their savior. Just for that little moment. I mean, I do that. Nearly every day for someone. Some of them I don't even know their name. <laughs> they don't know mine. If you know my name that I was born with, perhaps if my family, blood kin, did hold me, I might utilize that name a little more. I hold resonance with it as calm water. The way they said it doesn't mean that. 
the way they spelt it does, right? But that wasn't even shared with me until I got to Hawaii, where technically right, it was a misappropriation of that name and a misrepresentation. So in that, I'm given the clue of what my purpose is here too. And those that have been misappropriated from, misrepresented, the disenfranchised, the maligned, the persecuted, not for their beliefs, but due to other people holding them as true believers and unable to see the similarities over the differences. Many of those struggles I'm not included in, at least at first, unless someone gets me to know me deeper, more personally. But many times they're too in their own hurt, and the thing I can do to show them I'm different and reverse this lineage's past deeds is to stand there, hold it, take it, and if I can't, be the love in the situation because of my own triggering or wounding and my own stuff to so just step away and where I hear misrepresentation misappropriation is for profit profit personal profit that does not benefit them too isn't good for the all just a few. I speak up. I don't just go along. Because, oh, I don't have the time to dig into that. Oh, that's so icky. The typical spiritual bypassing. That would be spiritual with a dollar sign, not with a heart. For the least. Of which I'm much closer to than these privileged ones, except when I get to house at their house, or rub their feet, or take care of their gardens, or distribute their wealth so they buy themselves a little bit of water while they're in hell. According to their own books, eh? Loving you, even when you're not. 